Welcome to our virtual tour of the UND Aerospace Campus. Wherever you're watching from, we hope that you enjoy the video and that you're able to visit us sometime in the near future. Right now, we're inside Odegaard Hall, dedicated to our founder, John D. Odegaard. Let's get started. Here at UND, there are multiple opportunities to get involved. In UND Aerospace, there are 20 different student organizations, so no matter what you're majoring in or what you're interested in, there's an opportunity out there for you. We have three different competitive teams. We have the UND Aerobatics team, the All Girls Air Race Classic team, and the UND Flying team. Here in Odegaard Hall, we have the UND Flying Team banners hanging up. Each banner represents a national championship. Since 1985, the UND Flying Team has won 17 different national championships. Welcome to Odegaard Wall, which is dedicated to our founder, John D. Odegaard, who was a graduate student here at the College of Business. He wrote his thesis paper, located right behind me, about how realistic it would be to start a four-year aviation program in North Dakota. His final grade on that paper was a D, and no one would have ever imagined how much success the aviation program would generate for UND. Welcome to our Hilo GAT trainer. Um, this is the one and only full motion helicopter simulator available to civilian helicopter pilots. Um, in this trainer, all of our students will practice recovery from spatial disorientation. And while we emphasize um, a high pre-flight analysis, and the avoidance of these situations, it is really important to practice recovery as that can determine life and death in the real world. This simulator can um, show various weather conditions. It can show whiteouts, brownouts, and it is compatible with night vision goggles. And we also offer training to various corporate clients in this simulator. Welcome to our altitude chamber at UND Aerospace. This is where world-class aviation physiology training occurs right inside of this metal box here. We can simulate symptoms of hypoxia, which is lack of oxygen to the brain. Behind me is the GAT-3 spatial disorientation trainer that we use to stimulate the physiological effects of spatial disorientating situations. Inside, we've got a fully replicated Cessna 172 flight deck with glass instrumentation for this full motion simulator. We've got a lot of different resources here for emergency-based scenario training, and this is our EVAS Emergency Vision Assurance System. So in the case of any smoke in the cabin, we are trained to deploy the EVAS system, which is going to give us um, visual reference to our instruments, as well as to don our oxygen masks as soon as possible and conduct the appropriate checklist. All right, so welcome to the VR lab. So this is one of the new additions here to the Aerospace College within the JDO, John D. Odegaard School. And so students can come in here at any time for free and practice their maneuvers inside the Piper Archer. Uh, what we have is satellite imagery of the greater Grand Forks area. So you're gonna be seeing the exact same imagery uh, that you would see in real life, which is really handy for students to practice their flows, practice the checklists, and even practice maneuvers. And so what happens is they put this headset on top of them, and so it gives them a dynamic feel of a 3D environment of uh, virtual reality inside the Piper Archer. Hey everyone, welcome to the Leon Osborne Weather Center. This is home of UND Atmospheric Sciences, one of our labs here on campus. It holds 24 computers. You can see them behind me. These 24 computers run the same operating Linux system as the National Weather Service, so we can run models. We can run different systems and look at radars and satellites to really get the full experience of an actual weather forecaster. Welcome to the Aerospace Learning Center. This is a place that has multiple free resources for students to come. Whether you're an aviation student, weather student, there's a volunteer here helping you with anything that you might need. Welcome to Clifford Hall, the second out of four aerospace buildings we have on campus. Here we have our 360 degree APC control tower. It's also home to our Space Studies Department and our Earth System and Science Policy Department as well. Behind me are two special prototypes that were used uh, with funding from NASA to uh, be used as spacesuits on Mars. Uh, we have a strong partnership with NASA. We also offer a graduate uh, program degree uh, with our Space Studies Department and also a minor as well. Welcome into the 360 degree air traffic control tower here at UND. So typically there's ground controllers and tower controllers in here directing the lag traffic you see out on the screen. What's really cool about this simulator in itself is that you can actually simulate any sort of weather you can imagine in here. 
Uh, they can do any sort of emergency you'd find in real life in this simulator, all the way down to using light gun signals in here to direct traffic on the ramp and throwing them to land and take off. Uh, and then of course the controllers and ground controllers in here are directing that traffic to being operated by students outside. So typically every flight student in UND will come in here for a two credit course called Introduction to Air Traffic Control. Um, and in addition to that, the air traffic control students will use a lot more in their later coursework. The tower simulates the FAA Air Academy in Oklahoma City. So when our air traffic control students move down there after their training here, they have no negative transfer and they've been already practicing there for a few years in the simulators. Our air traffic control students have a 98% pass rate compared to a 12% pass rate coming off the street at the FAA Air Academy. Welcome to ESSP floor, Earth System Science and Policy. Up here we offer a variety of different classes that you can take. Um, there's two essential studies that you can take as well, ESSP 160 and ESSP 200. Those classes you can also lead into uh, a minor of sustainability studies. Welcome to Ryan Hall. So in this building we have our sim bay. In our sim bay we have nine simulators total, six Piper Archers and three Piper Seminoles. These simulators are advanced aviation training devices, which essentially just means they are approved by the FAA for use in our 141 curriculum. And we can actually count some of the hours we get in these sims towards our ratings through UND. These sims aren't full motion, but they are really advanced. So the screen goes past your periphery, so it feels really immersive. And the cockpits are essentially just a replica of what we have in the actual airplane. Welcome to UND Aerospace's brand new all-sim flight simulator based here in Ryan Hall. This French-built simulator is able to replicate most single-aisle jets by being quickly configured into either a side stick or a yoke configuration. Students that major in commercial aviation are able to complete 10 hours of left seat time and 10 hours of right seat time, either in this all-sim or in our CRJ200 simulator. Here at UND, we have a UND aerobatics team which travels across the country to compete against other collegiate teams and other aviation professionals. Behind me we have our UND banners that represent each time that we've won a national championship. Since 2002 we have won 10 different times. As a student, if you're interested in participating in the UND aerobatics team, all you have to have is your private pilot's license and to complete our introduction to aerobatics flight course, Aviation 389. Hello everyone, welcome to the Aerospace Schools Studio. This is the only active filming studio here on campus. Not only does it feature interviews, but it also is home to UND Weather Update, which is a broadcast done by students that are in the program. Students are giving presentations and briefings just like you would see on any news station with timers, cameras all around us, and IFDs to provide us the exact experience you would have on a real TV station. In addition to Ryan Hall, we also have our FAA Testing Center, which is really best beneficial for students because they could just come in here and type Ryan and take an FAA written exam, which is actually needed for each certificate that they take. Welcome to Robin Hall, named after Cy and Betty Robin, uh, that have generously donated $20 million to the aerospace program. Uh, up here we also have study rooms with floor-to-ceiling whiteboards that students can use as quiet study spaces. Here at UND Aerospace, we have the oldest collegiate UAS program. We've been graduating students for over 10 years, and one of the shining parts of our program is the in-situ skating eagle. Our students get six hours of real-time flying in this aircraft. We take them down to Mayville, North Dakota, where they do missions like practicing border protection, and firefighting, and search and rescue. The final flight course for the UAS program is an MQ-1, MQ-9, all-encompassing ground school and flight simulator. Through collaboration with the Air Force Research Laboratory, we have a decked out sim that our students spend 20 hours learning how to do real world military and civil operations in the General Atomics Predator. Hello, I'm Dr. Bob Krause, Dean of the John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences, and want to thank you for watching this video showing just some of the great things going on here at UND Aerospace. It all began in 1968 with two donated airplanes and 12 students that led to the formation of the Department of Aviation with John Odegaard as the founding chair. Since that time, we have expanded upon John's dream by developing aerospace programs known around the world as the best in training, rigor, and professionalism. One of the things that I love about Grand Forks is its weather, or more understandably, the variety of weather that we get. To some, this may sound a little strange, but our students gain experience flying in all four seasons and leave here prepared for just about anything. The university's theme is leaders in action, and our students and alumni continue to exemplify that. We have graduated more than 14,000 students that have gone on to professional aviation careers, 
and our programs continue to educate, train, and inspire students to lifelong careers in aerospace. If you've never been to Grand Forks or North Dakota, we invite you to visit us in person and to experience our operations in action and to see the opportunities that attending UND will provide. We look forward to meeting you and stand ready to answer your questions.